Hello there, Taurus. Thank you for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of October 26th through November 1st. All right, so Taurus, on Monday, what you guys have coming up is you have the Three of Clubs. This just tells me that you will be making some travel plans, if not actually traveling on Monday. So if you're not actually traveling, I want to say if you're not actually in the air, for most of you this will be flying, if you're not actually in the air or actually traveling on Monday, I do feel like travel plans are in the works. You are working on making plans for a trip. Tuesday, what you tourists have is you have the Fool in reverse. The fool in reverse just means that you have a situation in your life that you really know how to handle, but you know it from that deep inner knowing, not so much from that mental that mental knowing. And what's going on is that inner knowing and the mental knowing are kind of in competition with each other as far as you're concerned. And it's, since it's really hard to justify that inner knowing, you're going with that logical, that mental knowing on Tuesday. Not what I would recommend, by the way. That inner knowing comes from the universe. The universe knows what it's talking about. You can always trust that. All right, Wednesday. You have the Strength card coming up, Taurus. This is a fantastic card. I love to see it come up. And this card just talks about being very comfortable with yourself and who you are on Wednesday. So this is a card that talks about accepting all of those parts of yourself, accepting the the darker parts of yourself, but also accepting those light parts of yourself, those parts that are helpful and good for others, and really coming to a clear understanding of what type of person you really are, <laughs> and being able to be comfortable with that. I mean, um, when I say be comfortable, I don't mean that there's not things, excuse me, there's not things that you might want to improve, I'm sure there are. We're always on that journey of improving something. But um, you're not beating yourself up over anything. You're kind of going, yep, I know where that came from. All right, that's something i got to work on. And then you're looking at the good stuff going, wow, isn't that amazing? How did I turn out like that considering how I grew up? What influenced me like that? <laughs> Things like that. So it's just being very comfortable with every side and facet of yourself. It's a really good card. And then Thursday, you have another fabulous card coming up. Wow, you guys have wow, like three cards in a row that are really, really, really good. Okay, so Wednesday, Thursday. This is Thursday's card. You got the Sun card. I love it when the Sun card comes up for Scorpio <laughs> because I am a Scorpio. So Taurus, you have a really great day coming up on Thursday. When the Sun card comes up, it means that it's a day of you get to do the things that you really want to do. Nobody's looking over your shoulder trying to nudge you into doing it their way. You're just enjoying yourself, doing what you want to do, feeling productive. By the time you go to bed at night, you're like, wow, that was such a great day. So that's what I see coming up for you on Thursday. Now Friday, you guys have another good card. This is the Seven of Coins. This is the Harvest Coming In card. This card talks about manifestation. So this card really talks about somewhere where you have sown a seed, expecting that at some point that seed will mature and bring you back some kind of payback. Well, Friday is payback day. <laughs> so whatever that is that you planted, you're going to start to see some manifestation of some of something coming back to you from that seed. Now, when you plant a radish, you don't get a turnip. Okay, so whatever kind of seed you planted, that's the harvest that you can expect back. Okay, moving on to Saturday. Wheel of Fortune shows up in reverse. I feel like you may be feeling a little bit sluggish on Saturday. It feels like you may have overdone it a little bit on Friday. And when I say overdone it, um, this feels like eating too much, drinking too much, just kind of overdoing what your body can really take and enjoy. Uh, feels like you just had a really good time on Friday, and now Saturday you're kind of paying for it because you had a little bit too good of a time on Friday. So feeling a little sluggish, feeling a little out of it, feeling a little non-motivated to move off the couch or out of the bed 
on Saturday Taurus. Sunday, and I hate to end a reading with a card like this, the Three of Swords. Okay, so Three of Swords, one of my least favorite cards. I'm sorry to tell you about this card, Taurus, but here it is. This is basically something is happening to Sunday that um, really tugs at your heart or brings you a heartache or maybe even heartbreak. So this can be seeing, this can be actually, I've seen this come up as something as small as seeing something on the news or seeing something happen in front of you that made you tear up or that made you really have some feelings about it um, that you would never have expected to be feeling that day. Uh, but also this can be something a little bit bigger too. This could be something manifesting like maybe a friend says something that really hurts your feelings or maybe there's something happening with a partner that brings you some kind of heartache. So um, all kinds of different ways that this can manifest and I do feel like it will be manifesting all kinds of different ways for you Tauruses. And many of you are going to get those smaller manifestations that are just um, little things that are a little more easy to move through than some of the others that could be there. So that is your week, Taurus. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I do appreciate all the likes, the shares, the comments, the subscribes, everybody who's bought a reading from me, and everyone who has been faithfully watching the daily videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everyone have a fantastic week. I'll see you back here next week. Peace out.